Yo, it's your boy Blue Man, aka Doom Wizard, coming back with your rapid fire news roundup for April 5th. I appreciate you. And if you don't mind giving a little support to some of the other channels, other creators, content creators doing this on YouTube, it's no joke work to still be processing this while we know our trajectory, which is the very, very high emission scenario. All right, so we're just going to dive right in. We have a whole ton of articles to go through that I'm going to go, go quickly. You know, the usual, just heavy doom news, okay? It's going to be heavy. New liquid trees divide the internet. Let's get into it. Large tanks of full green algae. Meat sauce. Dubbed liquid trees. Possible solution. Wrong. I know you guys seen this. But so their goal wasn't to replace trees entirely. It was just for tight spaces and they can... They can convert um, a 600 liter filled with microalgae, microalgae, convert CO2 to oxygen, replaces two 10 year old trees or 200 square meters of lawn. What? Okay, another just stupid little thing humans do. Like this is this is the status. We have to go back. We built this technology as cities, and we realized how bad it was. So then we backtrack. A liquid tree. That's where we're at. Eh. Fermi's paradox, right? We're all dead. Let's get into climate and economy. Today was pretty traumatic. April 5th, roundup. No place to hide for global investors meaning mounting global political risk. Business scramble to make sense of shape-shifting environment by moving supply chains and funds. Risks are growing around the world. Russia warns Finland of NATO membership, except they just joined. Distressed debt cycles here. See these people working like that? I used to deliver meals to them daily they just sit in front of the screen they don't do anything they don't do anything traders build up hedges as oil shock adds to inflationary fighters fires old non-bank sector now accounts for half of the assets of the entire world financial system uh, bloomberg senior commodity specialist mike mcglone has warned that upcoming financial crisis could be the worst in our lifetime rivaling the great depression that started in 1929 i'm a few years off but i made a great depression video just kidding i'm a i'm a prophet no, Morgan Stanley is. Analysts forecasting something worse than the great financial crisis. More than 50% of the $2.9 trillion in commercial mortgages will need to be renegotiated in the next 24 months when a new lending rates are likely to be up. 350 to 450 base points. Um, okay, even a recession might not tame inflation. Irish people struggling with energy costs higher than everyone else. Uh, worse than pandemic. Pub bowed bodies warn of closure as energy bills relief scheme ends people can't pay their bills at the bar to keep them running okay to keep the drinks aflowing global chickpea shortage expected as dry spell impacts crop production for oh, no more hummus okay and carbs for lots of people luckily we have repeating yes i hate it cnn too repeating radio signal Leads astronomers to an Earth-sized exoplanet. What? I've detected repeating radio signals from an exoplanet star that orbits both 12 light years away from Earth. Suggests that Earth-sized planet might have a magnetic field and perhaps even an atmosphere. Cool, cool. Maybe it's out there. Maybe another uh, mogul ty real estate tycoons getting arrested for paying a adult film actress over there. Maybe. Finland joined NATO on Tuesday as Russia sounds border warning. This is no bueno. No good. Moscow threatens to bolster border defenses if Western military alliances deploy troops inside of Finland. It's basically like World War III setting up because they have all this border, you know, 1,300 kilometer border. Okay, that's not good. Equally not good is Arctic scientists race against the clock as ice memory melts away. What? 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 Meat sauce. Meat Arctic sauce. scientists are trying to start drilling to save... Uh, stop it. Uh, save samples of ancient ice for analysts before frozen layers melt due to climate. Mission organizers said Monday. Okay, Italian, French, Norwegian researchers have set up a camp in Norway's Bla Archipelago, Salvbard, Ikea Archipelago, and they call their race against time to preserve crucial ice records for, past, for analyzing past environmental conditions. We just... We beat the clock, okay? Mm, deep ice core records, all right? Melting ice is 
leaking and altering geochemical records preserved in the ancient ice beliefs beneath, and are seeing their primary material disappear forever for, from the surface of the planet. Uh, yeah, we're not going to preserve it. We might even go to war in Guam, of all places. America's next war may begin. A, a tourist island and vital military outpost is surprisingly vulnerable. Yep. Uh, like many American bases in the Pacific, Guam mixes hedonism and a war jitters. Japanese and South Korean visitors revel at the sand of the Tumon Bay, a coral reef lagoon above F-15 fighters and things land. Okay, nuclear submarines slipping out of the harbor. This is where America's day begins. As America, Guam likes to sell itself incorrectly. That's also where war with China might begin. All right, be a total mess. The self doesn't exist. Instead, you constantly shape multiple selves. So ongoing research finding that our interactions with others can affect our sense of self. Duh, we knew that. And there's a tension between desire for coherence and desire for freedom in our self-perception. The concept of self is not static, but rather constantly evolved through social interactions and ongoing construction of our identity. We have, like, multiple selves, okay? All reacting to each other and ourselves and our environments. Lockheed Martin's hypersonic missile ends, okay? They missed the bullseye, so we got to spend billions of dollars for a failed project. Shooting a big ding-dong in the sky while we announce four new military sites in the Philippines. Right, her. Everyone's beefing it up, getting beef for Sally and these people. Look, America first. America's number one in the world since World War II. Because we fly nuclear-capable bombers as tensions soar with, soar with North Korea. We just keep bolstering and saber-rattling because a move on Taiwan would literally affect every country on Earth. Blinken warns. All right. Quite literally every country on Earth. So stock up on ammo now before this shit unfolds, okay? Because it's going to be disastrous. Ellen, in addition, this just published, well, last month, warns of economic collapse from default. Just recently, though, uh, in February, you have, will default this summer unless Congress raises limits, CBO warns. All right. Just what we need. Just what we need is it would be catastrophic. March 7th kills millions of jobs. Moody's warns. I mean, we're not. We're fighting over a guy, a psychopath, that is a felon who's running for president. What? Okay. These are the times. Let's just look on the front page of CNN. I bet it's all Trump. These are the times, sign of the times. A complete shit show, all right? He doesn't get as much. It's just what the world wants to see, huh? And there's more tornadoes yesterday. Killed a bunch more people. EF2s, EF3s, Antarctica. Uh, sea ice minimum. Let's look at that. Sea ice charges before we go. Sea ice extent. Antarctica's record low. Sea ice minimum. It's exponential in our faces. Yeah, well, this is the Arctic, but the Antarctic is just as bad. And look, there we are, 14 square kilometers. And we go down here, right? I mean, it's trending way lower, so maybe we trend here. And then the next year, 2024, boom, below one. And then all hell breaks loose. decided all humanity was a threat to its existence. Alright, you prepped? Keep your magazines loaded. Doom Wizard out. Talk to you later.